Welcome to Cloisonikit.com. Today we will show you how to do a Cloisoni painting. Let's start with our first step. Filigreeing. Apply glue to the pattern lines. The glue can be slightly wider to ensure the gold wire can be firmly fixed. Wait for five minutes for the glue to become tacky. The glue used is slow drying glue. The optimal time is within for to 15 minutes after application. While waiting for the glue to become tacky, we can prepare the gold wire in advance. Pull out the gold wire and cut it. Ensure to cut them vertically with scissors. Use the wire straightening boards to clamp the gold wire. Gently pull to straighten the wire. This helps in creating smoother lines when filigreeing. Hold the gold wire with tweezers and place it on the line. Pull the gold wire with the other hand along the line. Press the wire to stick more firmly. Make the gold wire stand up, not lying down. Place the tweezers before the turn. Swing the wire and press it to stick firmly. Cut it vertically. There are three key points in filigree. One, hold the wire with tweezers. Two, swing the wire along the lines. Three, press to make it stick more firmly. With a bit of practice, and you'll also be able to quickly master the wire bending. For more detailed filigree tutorials on different patterns, please check our tutorial in the upper right corner. Hold. Swing. Press. Hold. Swing. Press. Finally check if all the gold wires are firmly attached. If not, we can use a rubber hammer to gently tap the wire. The filigree is now complete, and then you can move on to the next step of colouring. Let it sit for a few hours to allow the glue to dry completely. The second step is colouring. First we need to wash the coloured sand. Put the sand into the sand cup. Add water to cover the sand. Completely stir well. Pour off the surface floating. Wash it again. It's clean right now. Add some more water. Make the water level is 5 mm above the sand surface. Before colouring, first spray some water on the painting board. This can increase the fluidity of the coloured sand to create a smoother surface. Scoop up some sand with the tip of the spatula, then spread the coloured sand evenly on the drawing board. We suggest to fill the coloured sand to half the height of the wire. Avoid overfilling as it disrupts the smooth flow of coloured sand, leading to an even surface. How to make a smoother surface? The key is to spray water. This helps the coloured sand flow better and make the surface smoother. 
Alternatively, we can gently sway the board. It can also help the colored sand flow to create a smooth surface. For more detailed coloring tutorial, please check the video in the upper right corner. How to make the color transition area. We can tool the spatula at a 45 angle. Sway the wrist move the spatula back and forth to blend the color. This can create a smooth and natural color transition. Spray some water and gently sway the board to make the surface smoother. Now the coloring is complete. Let's move to the third step. Coating. After coloring, we need to use sand fixing glue to fix the sand to prevent it from falling off. Sand fixing glue serves to temporarily secure the painting. After applied, if you want to adjust the color in certain areas, you can add a few drops of water to loosen the glue's grip and then recolor it. The sand fixing glue needs to be diluted with water in a ratio of one to four. Add one part glue to the spray bottle. Then add four parts water. Shake evenly before use. Spray the diluted sand fixing glue on the entire painting. Spray vertically at 25 centimeters away from the painting until the whole painting surface turns slightly white. If you only finish a small area in one sitting, then just spray glue on the finished area to fix the sand. Let the painting dry for about one hour depending on temperature. When the surface becomes slightly damp, then spray the laminating glue. Laminating glue serves the dual purpose, firmly securing painting, while also creating a slightly waterproof film on the surface. Spray the laminating glue until the entire surface of the painting turns white. Find something to cover the painting to prevent dust and pets from running your work. Once the painting is completely dry, your artwork is complete. 